Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal. Hey, I want to talk to you about this new Navy rail gun that the U.S. military has been working on. It's really phenomenal. What this thing can do is basically shoot a projectile over seven times the speed of sound. And it does it without any explosives. It uses electromagnetic forces to propel the thing all the way down the, its barrel and then boom out into the target. Now this thing is changing the way that, I mean, it, this is the, the super mega game changer. And, and now it has broken the record for a projectile being fired. It just did that the other day. We've linked to the article down below and a video. You can check the entire thing out. What's so fascinating about this is that this now totally, once this is put in place, it's going to change the way naval combat and really all combat, because you know these weapon systems will be put on other platforms, is made. Why is that? Number one, you don't need actual explosive ammunition. So now uh, Navy ships and perhaps other weapon platforms aren't going to be as vulnerable to you know having their ammunition stores you know blow up or whatnot when they're in protracted battles, as we remember seeing some of these fights between the big uh, aircraft carriers or destroyers uh, or battleships in World War II and some other battle. That's number one. Number two, it's going to dramatically extend the range of what these ships can fire on. Right now, the basic uh, range is about 13 miles for the big 15, 16 inch guns on the big uh, battleships. This can now extend the range up to 100 miles or more, 100 miles. And they're looking to get this thing out to 200 mile range. Just think about how devastating that is. This is all about kinetic energy, right? So it's kind of like, you know, when you, when you, uh, a, you know, a bullet or, or when you see straw uh, go through um, wood in a hurricane force, if you, if you, force equals mass times acceleration squared. The more speed that you have, the more devastating impact that you have. You don't need explosive arsenal if you have a projectile going fast enough. When you're talking about something going over Mach 7, that is unbelievably fast. I mean, that roughly, that's roughly, you know, 49, almost 5,000 miles an hour. That is insanely fast, okay? So, to give you a sense of the speed that we're or the power that we're talking here, most, uh, it takes about one megajoule to propel a small car 100 miles an hour. Think of the impact, the collision, the force that that car would have if it hit something. Now, imagine this gun that fired today, this rail gun, had 30 three megajoules. That's unbelievable power. So it, there's still some technical things to work out here. They're not going to get this thing online immediately because it's just going to take some time. There's, there's issues with power. There's issues with um, you know having the guns hold up you know together and deal with that kind of force, but they're very optimistic on it. They've, they've, they've already surmounted a bunch of the problems with, with these technologies and they anticipate that probably, probably around 2025 they're going to have these in use. What do you think about this technology? How cool is it? And do you think that this, I mean, with all these new fascinating weapons coming out, and the conservative media brings you all of them, of course, as much as we can in our personal opinion, do you think this gives a just huge advantage to the U.S. military? Do you think that it's money well spent? I think this is some of the coolest thing I've ever seen. I can't wait. We need to put this in place as soon as possible. And again, just super proud of what our military and our R&D departments are able to do. Huge thumbs up for the U.S. Navy. This is a major, major step through, and we can't wait to see the, the rest of it. You guys tell me what you think. Comment below, subscribe above, rate this video high, and make sure that we post it on your page so we can spread the message of U.S. military power and conservative new media. We love it. For conservative new media, I'm John D. Villarreal, and this is the Military Science and Technology Report.